Yeah. Does 10 million hits count as a viral video? <laughs> I'll say. What do you got? Well, it looks like we've got a bunch of fire hoses pointed down and they're lifting a car off the ground. That is freaking perfect for us. It looks pretty convincing. What do you think? No idea. Here, play it again. You know, if this is real and we can actually pull this off, it's gonna be awesome. I totally agree, but man, it could also be deadly. It could also be a con job. That car might just be a plastic shell, but the only way to find out is to try it ourselves. That means building a platform, sweet-talking some firemen, and buying a full-weight has-been hatchback. This is what it is to be a Mythbuster. You see this car behind me, and you think, ah, it's some classified ad piece of crap. I see a flying water jet car. Adam's itching to squirt this wreck sky high, but Jamie wants to check under the hood. This car weighs, according to the sticker, 3,175 pounds. Now that means that each of those hoses has to put out about 320 pounds of thrust. Personally, I don't think so. Jamie decides to start small scale, and he's not afraid to delegate. Okay, well, this is our car. I need you to make me a one-sixth scale version of this on the CNC. Can you do that? Yes, we can do that, definitely. Okay, off you go. Okay. The CNC mill is a computer-controlled milling machine that will take a laser-scanned image of a real car and generate a toolpath for its cutting tool that will carve out a miniature version of the car at any scale we like out of something like a fine-grained particle board. Meantime, Adam knocks up a miniature 10-nozzle frame for the tiny car to sit on. The frame and the car fit together just like a piston in a cylinder. Ah, oh, perfect. Look at that. This might be a small-scale test, but still, why mess up your own backyard? Jamie's picked out a fire training facility about 30 miles east of the city in Pleasanton. Given that we're going to be harnessing hundreds or maybe even thousands of horsepower of diesel pump energy and putting that through hoses. This is kind of a dangerous situation that we don't really want to just dive into without preparation. And so we're going to build a scale model, see how well we can control it, see if we can learn anything about it before we um, start dealing with the big boys. Okay, this bewildering mix of half hose, double pipe, triple glued, multi valves sure don't look small scale. Thankfully, Adam's here to explain it. Right, kiddies, close your eyes and open your brains. We'll actually keep your eyes open because this television is going to take you on a little journey. Picture yourself as a droplet of water with a bunch of your friends heading down this two and a half inch fire hose. Everything's going great. Then all of a sudden, you hit this transition. What is this? Oh, it's starting to have to do with the Mythbusters. So, you and your friends are divided into two groups. This group, the left group. Let's go see what they're going on. The left group comes down the manifold and further gets divided into five other groups, each one going down a 25-foot garden hose. Those garden hose lead to the platform where all ten groups of water droplets, all of you and your friends, are rejoined coming out of these nozzles. And if everything goes well, you'll see this. <gasps> But we're not exactly sure that's going to happen. There's likely to be problems. And that's not just a prediction, it's a promise. Retired Fire Chief Bob Calloway runs out the hose and taps into the nearest hydrant. He's pumped, and so are the boys. We are all plumbed up and ready to go. And what I'm hoping to discover here is information about the flight characteristics of the full-size car when we power it up. So, Bob, we're all set and ready to go. Okay, Jamie. Um, and uh, you got your valve there, huh? So, right. what, what's your signal for more or less? More is this way. Less is less like that. Less is this way. Just like a crane, okay. Right. Well, I'm going to stand kind of safely off to the side watching the whole thing, and I'll give you your signal more or less, and we'll just kind of ramp on up. Okay. okay. Remember right. the high-pitched squealing means shut everything down. The sound like, ah, ah, like that. Will do. <laughs> okay. Jamie declines a waterproof suit. That's because Adams volunteered to handle the hoses. Bob turns the tap, and there's no turning back. And before you can say, pump my ride, this little red car becomes a little red 